how to use Perspective Warp in Photoshop. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today I want to talk about how do you change the perspective of an image in Photoshop. And the reason I did this was because, as you can see in front of you, I had some artwork sent to me for the purpose of vectorizing. And um, though this is you know fairly straight on, uh, as you can see, the, it's not a perfect straight on perspective. It's actually a little skinnier at the top than it should be and a little fatter at the bottom because the, the sign is probably hanging up pretty high on the wall and whoever took it was a little bit shorter than the sign. So you're getting the perspective of being beneath the sign like we have here. Well, to vectorize this, the preference would be to give them something that is a little bit straighter um, so that the edge here, instead of being you know, kind of at a slant, is straight up and down, uh, straight up and down here, here, and here. Um, and sometimes you have to fix the perspective, uh, you know, on a left to right on the hor horizon as well, but not for this image. But this same technique can help you get that as well. Um, first thing you want to do, I, uh, make sure that your image is not a background and then create a copy of it. I just hit Control J to make a copy. And then um, you want to keep an original back here just so you can reference it if you need to. Um, the next thing you want to do is just come up to Edit and say perspective warp. Now, what this will do, um, just go ahead and like create a box that's, you know, align the top and bottom as best you can, and then later come in here and select these individual nodes and move them to basically give yourself the, the plane that this sign is in. So really roughly right there, that's what our square shape should look like. Um, and basically this is just telling Photoshop that you when, you when you square this up, you want this angle and or this corner and this corner to, to jut up next to each other. And so what you'll do is click warp after you're done with this. And this is going to be uh, like aligning vertically, straightened vertically. This is going to be straightening uh, horizontal. For this one, I'd say just do both. Click this third button and you'll see what it does. Boom. And then just hit OK. And so let me go back to the original, original slanted. Here's this one, which is not, it's not going to be perfect. Um, you know, if you have specific dimensions, if say someone sent you a picture and they knew that this is um, 30 inches wide and 20 inches tall or something like that, then you could go in and make measurements once you've squared it up and try to get the exact aspect ratio. But for this project, this worked out perfectly fine. I went ahead and did this and then brought it into Illustrator to vectorize it. And here it is in Photoshop, but that's the, the vectorized final, which I did all with the pen tool and found some uh, fonts that were suitable. Obviously, they changed this to clothing optional boat. It's going to be a boat graphic instead of bar, um, but they're referencing some bar, I believe, in Florida. Anyway, um, that's, that's the quick and easy tutorial on this one. Uh, leave any comments down below. Let me know what you thought of that quick tip. And I will see you guys in the next video.